For our entertainment, back again with another video, and we are looking at the possible and very, very likely return of Sam Taz into the Sons of Anarchy universe. And of course, we are looking at Mayans MC Season 5. And of course, the last time we saw these guys was back in Season 4 of Sons when they were helping out with the cartel business. And we get a couple of, basically, it was basically a one episode, but I guess like the aftermath did carry out throughout that season due to the ongoing war between the Lobo Cartel and the Galindo Cartel. But why, you're asking, is this video getting made? Because in recent images released from the filming of season five of Mayans MC, they released this image, which I think is a very interesting image. We've got Sons of Anarchy, Arizona patch. Now, this sparked up a lot of speculation online, a lot of speculation here on the Fog Entertainment channel that this could be the imminent return of Sam Taz to the Sons of Anarchy universe because, you know, why not bring back an established charter that we already know and was in the Sons? Like, I, I have a feeling, like, I mean, obviously, like, location-wise, that obviously helps. I'm not fucking denying that, but this is, Sam Taz was the closest charter to the border. Which, of course, would make a bit more sense, you know, with all the shit going on in the mines. And also, you know, they used San Bernardino in the mines. And, of course, San Bernardino were in Sons. I'm not saying they're in a massive part, but they're in Sons. We had Packer that was in a few episodes in Sons. Yeah, and we, we knew when I mean, they tried to fucking offload the guns to San Bernardino. There was a connection there. I feel like it's better doing that rather than um completely starting something new. But then again... You know, they did start something new with the Mayans. I mean, the Mayans could have literally have just featured on Alvarez's charter, like no, like Northern Cali instead of Southern Cali. But, you know, I actually like the fact they did it with a new charter, not Alvarez's charter, and it made more sense, especially with the route the show ended up going with Alvarez joining uh, Galindo's um, crew. So, yeah. But in terms of Toxin, well, who is still alive? We still have a decent... Uh, few members are still alive. No, we don't. Two are excommunicated. One had to quit. Therefore, but you know him on the right, the guy at the pet shop. Why couldn't he have been let? Why couldn't he have been let back in? He basically got booted out because the VP and the sergeant had kicked him out because he was sleeping with the guy who ended up. They ended up killing his wife. You know, Armando ends up getting his head cut off by the like Lobo Sonora. So realistically, that can't be helped. But the rest of it, you'd under you'd, you'd wonder why like. It wasn't maybe a coup, so I mean, if it was to get brought back, it's literally going to be a completely fresh-faced crew. But that leads to the question, the next question. Isaac, he seems like he's just going on an absolute mad one of his own. Which Tig kind of hinted to in the Mayans MC Season 4 finale that Isaac is kind of going rogue and that San Bernardino doesn't really have the backing of the other son's chars. Now, is that really a strong way to go for the, for the season? Because... If they don't, like, how long can, like, a guy in this charter, you know, exist? Like, we, we've seen, like, the, the reason why the Mayans hit the sun so well in, like, the second half of the season after, like, you know, Coco got killed at that, that uh, thing is because, like, they teamed up. It was, like, all the charters, you know, like, Conche may have got killed in the clubhouse, but, you know, like, it was, it was fucking helping it. It wasn't just the Santa Padres ratio. Like, there was, you know, you had Manny, all the other charters there, Oserio, Oterio, I mean. And with Sons, I just feel like there's not much really depth to this San Bernardino charter because also the whole the entire clubhouse get wiped out. Be interesting to see. Maybe Isaac will have a meeting with um, Arizona and try and get them on board with his plan. Or maybe the Sons in general will just get on board with the plan of killing as many Mayans as possible. Uh, but we never really know. But that brings us to the conclusion of this video. Will Sam Taz return? Yes, I think they will return. Um, I think it would make sense for them to return. I mean, am I, am I going to be shocked or disappointed if they don't return? No. Would I rather, you know, Sam Crow members return? Absolutely, because who the fuck wouldn't? Who, want, who wouldn't want to see Tommy Flanagan riding in there with his fucking grey locks flinging about in the wind? Come on, that's what we want to see. We don't want Sam Taz, we want Sam Crow. But why can't we have both? Why can't we have the Arizona Charter in Sam Taz, guys? But anyway, I want you to leave your thoughts down below. There's going to be more Mayan feds coming with news coming out of the filming and all that good stuff. Check out The Sopranos. Check out The Walking Dead. Check out Money Heist Korea. 
we fire out hundreds of fids on this channel and we still work. My dream is no to work because I'm not a slave to the 9 to 5, right? I want to sit in my arse making YouTube videos till I die because I'm the fucking man. If anyone's got a problem with it, you can fuck Mr. Mayhem. But until next time, peace.